There you go, that's a face. Actually, you know what? Let me get this on a picture first so I don't have to dress them up. Oh, so let's get now we Come a little forward faces everyone. Liam! <laughs> Liam, Liam! Go out and get a camera at, at any retailer nowadays um, and say okay fine I can do your pictures for like almost nothing that doesn't mean anything if you're not giving good pictures to me you're ripping the client Hi. off could be $25 $50 doesn't matter the value behind your portraiture how much do you value yourself and I emphasize a lot um, it's like going to a supermarket or going to a regular supermarket, you go to Walmart, you know your milk is gonna cost you, so you already expect the cost of milk. But you go to a higher end Whole Foods supermarket, you know that your milk is gonna be at least two dollars more, but you expect that already. I want people to think of me as Whole Foods, a good quality product. Um, not only in my photography, but the time that I spend with my clients. I get to know my client before my client even hits me. To me, the highest moment in my sessions for a client is when that 20 by 30 order for a canvas comes in. I shoot to sell and not just to sell the picture but I want people to portray my pictures this is the reason why I don't burn CDs for people because CDs usually this they go on a drawer and that's where they're at or people go and print them at places like Costco which there's no you know there's no evil against Costco but the quality of paper in my photography is not to be printed in paper of that quality why would you pay me the kind of money that you pay me to do your portraiture session when you're just gonna do nothing with your picture so to me that's how I and my clients know this already so nobody ever battles me for that and I have lost a lot of clients due to the fact that I don't shoot and burn but that's okay maybe I'm not the right fit for that client and I am totally okay with that I believe in educating my client because if you educate your client they're not gonna fall in the hand photography is a very important thing is it is a luxury item for a lot of people but it is Alex. yay it's the most important thing that somebody can do is invest their money in photography. Even if you have to save for months to get a session. And even if you don't get it with me, get it with somebody else. I am totally okay with that. Get good quality portraiture. Get pictures that are going to last for centuries if you have to. If you're going to be, I mean, you see pictures from the 1800s. They use the most basic uh, development system. And pictures are still alive. The paper wasn't good. But you can still get some pictures. And it's incredible that history books have these pictures. And that's what it is. Photography is about emotion, telling a story, getting involved with the moment, and telling people about what you've done. You want to travel, take pictures of things. And I tell people, just take pictures. If you don't have me, just take pictures. But the quality of pictures, if you want quality of pictures, then you hire a professional. And that's why you want a professional photographer. And that's why it is an investment. I was probably like eight years old when I started just picking up and taking pictures from my balcony and um, taking pictures of my dad and my mom doing things and stuff like that. And my dad would go to the grocery store, well, not grocery store, but to the pharmacy where I come from. The pharmacy will be the developer and he will drop off the films and it became a little expensive in the house. We had the budget for that at the end. I'm Colombian. Um, I was uh, born and raised in Colombia and uh, my father had a job that allowed him to transfer to the United States for work and we ended up in Miami and I ended up growing up in Miami so that's why I move my hands a lot and I talk very fast and I have yeah. an accent. In photography is just an, it's a very incredible world, it inspires people, it connects people and to me I find it fascinating that after 20 something years of doing health care and, and having a real job because people still think I don't have a real job, um, that I always wanted to do photography and I never really thought of it as a, as really, a, like a real job because that's a misconception. You don't make any money with it. You don't know how to do it. So I have learned, um, I have learned how to, I busted my chops to learn business, take classes. I am associated with PPA and WPPI, which I am very, very thankful for them. Um, I have had incredible mentors and people that have believed in what I do. And I don't think that I'd be where I'm at today if it wasn't for them and all the support of family, friends, and people Mommy. in the industry. Yes, call me. <laughs> Photography is 
photography has allowed me to carry on with the process of, of growth, not only in her life, but with many other of my clients that I have. And I do travel a lot. Um, now I'm able to go places like the West Coast, and I'm able to go to Vegas, to Phoenix, to Atlanta, Miami, places to photograph, to capture, um, and eventually just um, continue to grow in my, in my skill a little more and let others and share with others so others can learn <laughs> so others can learn how to do what I do because I feel that my life is just amazing I couldn't if you have no emotion behind what you're taking you're just taking a snapshot but portraiture not only the technical aspect of portraiture um, involves emotion so, um, in the connection that you have with your subjects right. and anything in subject by mean people, uh, structures, history, anything that has to do with what you're photographing. If you don't have emotion behind it, you might as well just take a snapshot and just call it a day. Get your phone and just take a picture. That's the way I feel. A lot of people feel like me, but that's the way I feel. <laughs>